Hi, I'm Edina City Manager Scott Neal and you're watching On The Job, a show where we introduce you to the city employees that keep Edina going and show you some things that can only be learned on the job. All right, you're joining me today on 54th Street, and 54th Street is under construction as you can see, and we're going to spend a little bit of time today talking to one of the people that had a lot to do with this particular project and learn about what it means to be uh, an engineering technician for the city of Edina. And his name is John Moore. John? Hi, Scott. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, welcome to On The Job. So this is a show where we talk, uh, we talk about what uh, individual employees do and, and your role in city government, right? So tell me what you do. Well, I'm an uh, engineering technician for the city of Edina. Okay. Uh, my primary roles are doing the design, surveying, uh, which is doing the topo, um, construction. So you worked on this particular project that we're in the middle of right now, right? I did, yep. Okay. I started doing the survey about two years ago. Two years ago? Yep. Okay. Yep. So, so when you're doing a survey, what, what does that mean exactly to, to, in terms of, of, of a project like this? Well, what we do is we go out and we want to get all the different components that are out there. We want to know where all the hydrants are, where all the manholes are. Uh, we want to know where, you know, different rocks, fences, what the elevation of the road is, okay. where the road is, okay. and uh, general information like that. Well, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm a graduate of Iowa State University, uh, one of the finest uh, civil engineering schools in America produces all kinds of civilies and surveyors. So I think I've probably predisposed to this. I think I can catch on and, and do it pretty easily, right? Oh, perfect. Uh, so why don't you show me how you do your job? Absolutely, let's right. give it a shot. Let's give it a shot. All right, Scott. Well, I thought we could start off with using this uh, controller here. And okay. It, uh, what this does is it helps me operate the machine over there, which is our total station. Yep. Um, and what once we get it set up here, it lets us know where we are in the world. Okay, all right, let's do it. All right, so when I agreed to do this job, I was really looking forward to uh, doing the hand signals like surveyors and engineers do to each other where, you know, this kind of thing and that and pull apart and up and down, that kind of thing, time out. Well, we're gonna do some of the up and down, left, right stuff yeah, yeah. with this piece right here. Okay. But we, uh, I, we still do use an auto level, okay. which is an instrument that we use to carry an elevation throughout a project. And that's a big part of how, how we set up our control points so we can maintain a constant elevation. Okay. All right, I'm ready to do it. Let's do it. All right, let's go. So we're connecting right now with some Chinese satellite that's way up in the... Uh, air. Nope. nope. Uh, right now, we're, I'm just connecting with the total station over there. Okay. But uh, that is another part that we do uh, early on in the summer with uh, getting our control points and stuff like okay. that so we can get a nice, good X, Y on where that point is. Okay. And uh, what's on top of here is a prism. Okay. And this one's a 360 degree prism. And what this does is it reflects light directly back in the same direction that it comes from. Do this, set my pin right in there. I tell the uh, robot to find me, and you can see it spinning there. Yeah, look at that, okay. It tells me what, what my accuracy here right now is. It okay. says that I'm, you know, 0 .001 feet off, and for that, in a height of 0 .02. And so this helps us determine how, how uh, high the, the street is gonna be and to make sure it drains the right way and that kind of thing, right? Well, this makes sure that we can get the points set so that it does do exactly the way we designed it. Okay. Now the work that we do over the winter, that's how we uh, decide where the water's gonna go and how it's all gonna work and what points we really need to hit and make sure that we have the right elevations. Okay. And, uh, so you're doing the design during the winter and then during this time of year, you come out to make sure that what you designed is actually gonna work on the ground. Uh, well, 
hopefully everything works, you know, from the design. But we're, we're ensuring that everything's going right where it needs That's to be. That's going to be built yep. the right way. Exactly. Because this is under construction right now. Exactly, okay. yep. Okay, that was a good skill. I'm glad I know how to do that now. Um, but I was hoping that I'd get to stake something, right? So I remember as a kid, uh, I would go around town to construction sites and I'd pull these stakes out all the time, right? And throw them away. <laughs> so I want to kind of redeem myself for that. So can I stake something here somehow? Uh, absolutely. All I, right. I, I got just this thing. Um, I got some gloves for you here. Okay. All right. So then, uh, okay. What do we do? Well, I guess put them on. <laughs> <laughs> and I got this bag for you here that you can carry for me. And I'll uh, show you exactly uh, where to put those stakes to make up for your childhood uh, stake pulling. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> there you go. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, a few heavy things. Yeah. Should have warned you there. All right, let's go. All righty. This is like what real engineers and surveyors do, isn't it? Uh, oh, absolutely. Stake stuff. Absolutely. These, these stakes are going to... Uh, Help out the contractor, help put, in the, uh, put in the uh, bituminous or the asphalt yeah. right where it needs to be. So before how I uh, showed you how the instrument finds, knows where we are in the world now because we did our setup. Okay. Um, now I need to have it direct me right to the point where I need to put the stake. All so right. um, what I figured is we're just going to go off of that stake there. Which one? This um, the one four. with the pink thing on it. Yep, exactly. Okay. Yep. The next thing to do is to figure out where the uh, we're going to be doing blue tops is what we're going to be doing. So what you're going to need hammer. You need the hammer, and you're going to need this guy right here. Right. And that's a, a frost pin, is what we call that. Frost pin. Yep. Okay. All right, pound her back in. Yep, just a couple taps. And then I'll verify where we're at. Okay. Here. All right. So that needs to go down point, pretty much point two feet, which Oops. <laughs> point two feet is uh, roughly that. All right, let's check her out. Uh, it's telling me that it needs to go down point zero three, which okay. is just a small tap. <laughs> Here, let me see that. A little no, no, bit. I can okay, do it. I okay. can do it. I can a little do more it. of a tap. A little more, a little more tap. tap. All right, let me check it. Oh, you can't get much closer than that. There you go. That's at point zero zero four is what you're at right here. That's it. Well, I guess uh, my street building work is probably done for the day. I know I've made a permanent contribution to this street project but you get to do that all the time so it must feel you must have a sense of accomplishment uh, when you look around town and see the projects you've worked on and and the quality it brings to people's life i'm guessing right yeah it's it's great being able to go out and see roads go from you know gravel yeah. to really nice curb and gutter with you know just looking great you know from the very start all the way to the end it's a, a very enjoyable job well the work you do here is important for our whole town and and uh Adina is a great place to live because of people like you and what you do for them and in the way that they live their lives. So I appreciate what you do. Thanks for showing me what you do. Absolutely. And uh, we'll be off on our way now. Thanks. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, you've been watching On the Job, a show where we take you behind the scenes to show you these city employees that keep Adina going and show you some things that can only be learned on the job. <laughs>